Hey everybody, Aqueous here. Uh, today I wanted to make a little video talking about uh, why I've decided to, even though I, I barely played, um, I am already quitting Genshin Impact. Um, this is a decision that basically, I mean, it really honestly has almost no effect on the channel at all. I have played the game one time for content and one time only in general. Um, well, that's a lie. Okay, I played it like a year, uh, like two years ago for five minutes and said, eh, but I decided to give it like a one minute, a one hour and 50 minute stream of play. Um, it eclipsed the views of any other stream I've ever done by a long shot. And I still did not enjoy myself. Now I'm going to talk about why. So at this point, uh, in my existence on YouTube, I've made 286 videos. Some are shorts, some are lives. Um, you know, a, a few of them are lives. Uh, a, a decent but still semi small amount of them are shorts, and most of them are videos. Not that that really, you know, not that the specifics matter, but I've made 286 videos on the channel. I have been making videos consistently for about a year. I wouldn't say I'm an incredible creator. If I was, I would probably have a lot more subscribers. Um, I, you know, I don't have big ego or anything like that, but I'm just saying I, I've been making about 286 videos, give or take, uh, over the past year, mostly because I've been making almost all of my videos about Honkai Star Rail, which has been my main game since the game came out. Um, which was, you know, we're, we're about to have the year celebration. I think it might be on the 29th or 28th of this month. So we're getting it very, very soon. Um, I've gotten in all that time, maybe two negative comments, like genuinely negative comments, not like not, not criticism, not like not constructive criticism or anything like that, but two like genuinely negative comments. And honestly, I gave myself the benefit of the doubt. I can't even remember two. Um, I'm just saying I've, I'm sure I've gotten maybe two at some point, right? And they just bounced off my brain and whatever. Um, but yeah, but I streamed Genshin Impact one time, one time for an hour and 50 minutes. Hey, just add some on there. It's add, it's add 11 seconds on there. An hour and 50 minutes. And I mean, I'm just getting cooked. You know what I'm saying? Um, like, I mean, like there's no extremely hateful comments. Uh, I'm going to go over like two or three in particular. Uh, but I've already <clears throat> far eclipsed the amount of negative comments I've gotten on Honkai Star Rail, Lethal Company, New World, AFK Journey, Baldur's Gate, any other game, any other community I've brought on or brought into this channel. I've tried to, you know, bring into this channel any other time. These are definitely the most concentrated and the most kind of nasty comments I've ever acquired. They're nothing absolutely horrible, right? They're nothing against the law, right? I'm not getting death threats. Luckily, um, I'm not big enough for that. I would for sure be getting them if, you know, if I was probably a big content creator because I can see why people would be upset with the way that I played the game. Genuinely, I can be. All right. Let's go over. Let's go over this. So this this is not show you the whole story, right? I I don't tolerate straight up dog hate, like dirty dog hate. Okay? So I kind of regret it now because I'm making this video, but there literally was a comment, I swear. Uh I should have screenshot the notification of it. But I got a comment that said, maybe the worst streamer I've ever seen. Um, maybe I did screenshot. I'll look on my phone right after I record this. Um, it said, maybe the worst streamer I've ever seen. And it's like, damn, bro. What did I do to you? I've been the same, I've, I've been the same guy for 286 videos. And I've never had anybody comment, might be the biggest piece of dog shit I've ever watched. You know what? You don't have to do that. I just deleted the com I well, I deleted the comment in the way that like I I removed that guy from being able to see my channel, right? 
I, I, I blocked that guy. So it auto deleted his comment and his interactions with me. Thank God. Um, because I just don't want that. I don't care for hate views. I don't care for, for hate interactions, for hate comments. I don't care for that. I'm here to have fun. I'm here to make content that I like making. I'm here to play games that I enjoy playing. And I'm here to talk to people that appreciate, that can appreciate both of those things. Right. I, I have no care. I do not care if playing Genshin impact absolutely it far eclipses the views of any stream I have ever gotten ever by far. I, that does not make me want to play it. Right. Because I'm not doing this just for views. I'm not, I'm not doing the shit just for views. I'm doing this shit because I want to play the games. I want to talk about games. I want to record it. Um, and, and that's what it is, you know? So let's just go over some things. These are not the, like, these are obviously not directly hateful comments. I mean, kind of one is down here. Um, but these are kind of like, some of these comments are just like, oh, I wish you did this, or I wish you played the game like this. And that annoys me for sure. But it's nothing hateful. That's why these people aren't blocked. So uh, you should keep the music on. It's one of the best parts of the game. That was not derogatory in any way. That wasn't even like, that wasn't even like mean or anything, right? That's fine. That's why I just liked and hearted it, right? Uh, can't wait to see you play. Unfortunately, if you're watching this video, Yellow Gotcha Gamer, I hope you also enjoy Honkai Star Rail or enjoy, you know, or, or are going to try Weathering Waves when it comes out. Because that's what you're gonna have to watch me for. I, I don't. I, I'm not gonna play this game again for content. Um, first person I saw turn off the music. I don't even know what to react to that. I mean, like, all right. Um, is what it is. Like, you know, that's fine. I I feel like I'm allowed to turn off the music if I want to. Uh, and, and this person even isn't even like you know talking shit. Just like you know, I mean, obviously like kind of like a sad face. You know, whatever. Can you uh, add me in Genshin? Unfortunately, uh, <laughs> yeah, I can when I get on next. That might be years from now. That might be never. Um, so here we go. Here's the comment that just kind of like got on my nerves a little bit. Like, okay, no, it didn't get on my nerves because I didn't really let it affect me. But it's like, what do you even like comment? Like, why do you even comment? Like, why? If you didn't like it, I got an idea. Okay, so like imagine, right? I'm watching a video that I don't like. All right, imagine this. All right, hello again, guys. Um, we're back on Snow Ray. See, that's what I would do. Um, so yeah, is what it is. Uh, but anyway, I don't understand why you started to play a very story heavy game, but ignore lore. It's probably not enjoying for you and for viewers. Imagine playing games without music, Lamal, like bruh. So here's the thing, actually. I had two live viewers who were there with me the whole stream and talked to me the whole stream. One of them is the person that said, can you add me in Genshin? Right. And that person subscribed. At least I'm 99% sure. And also, uh, YOLO subscribed. That was even after watching the VOD. Um, but all that, all that to say, okay, you didn't like it. You're watching the VOD, right? We were, I was, I was streaming. I had chat on the other screen. I was talking to chat. We were having a decent time. Okay. So like, if it's not enjoying, if it's not enjoying for viewers, nobody would have viewed it actually, but 600 people viewed it. So, hey, uh, so I said, I play HSR also very story heavy. And by the way, it's in the same genre of games made by the same company. I must say, uh, I have a lot of fun in that game. Story isn't something that would make it more enjoyable for me, even if I paid attention to it. And there has been times where I'm literally like story skipping, story skipping, and then something crazy happens with like some of my favorite characters, and I'm like, I must watch. That was like the Don Hong and Bibiter Lune arc where like he was splitting the seas, and the fight where Blade comes and fights Don Hong and reveals the identity of Bibiter Lune, and like a lot of things that Jing Yuan, like the story can also hook me in. Like, I'm not always, like, I'm not a story skipper set in stone, no matter what, I'm skipping that story. It's just, like, 
all this is just like listen i'm just trying to play the game i'm a game i i, I like games for the gameplay i name a single player rpg story game i probably haven't played it i am dead serious i haven't played skyrim i i quit like 10 hours into elden ring these are some of the best games considered Best games of all time. You know why I didn't play them? Because it's single player. I'm, I'm all by myself in this world. I'm all alone. Um, and I play Honker Star, which is also arguably single player. It has some multiplayer things, right? But like, just like on friends list and support characters. Um, but like, I don't play those games. They're single player. Uh, it's basically just you get into this game, you, you get into this world, and you just experience a story. I don't play those games. I don't play those games. Um, I, I, if I liked them, I would. If I was the kind of person that wasn't a story skipper, I probably would. Right? Uh, imagine telling people... Uh, yeah, so... So I said story isn't something that would make it more enjoyable for me, even if I paid attention to it. Imagine telling people they have to play a game exactly the way you want them to. I turn music off because often when I'm trying to talk or when I'm recording a video, I can get distracted really easier, but really easy, easily by constant sound going off. I have some pretty bad ADHD. That's true. Um, obviously, I I'm agreeing with me. Hey, I think I'm pretty based here. You shouldn't really tell people how to play games, right? You shouldn't tell people how to play. They're going to play games how they want to play games, and you're going to play the games how you want to play the games, right? And if you play the games in a way that they do and you like the way that they're playing the games hey hit them with a subscribe hit them with a like hit them with a comment nice video man um but like so i i just don't understand people who are terminally on online like this and just go and like man i just didn't like that i just didn't like that and you know what i have to talk about how much i didn't like that I guess I'm doing that right now, but like it, you, you commented on my channel, bro. Um, yeah, if you want to hear music so bad, you, obviously I, I gave him like a completely sarcastic dickhead compliment uh, comment. If you want to hear music so bad, you can always open your own Spotify. Kind of weird behavior to criticize someone else for a personal choice. So inconsequential. Me when I me when I'm playing Genshin Impact. Yeah. All right. Me when I'm playing Genshin Impact with music on. Oh my god, I'm gonna come! This is the best game of all time, dude! Holy shit, I'm gonna come! Um, yeah, it's just not gonna happen. Uh, it's a really, it, it really is a personal choice. Choice, it is inconsequential, doesn't matter. You know what? Maybe, like, if I, if I didn't get so much random, like, dumbasses in my comments, right, uh, specifically for Gensh, for the only Genshin Impact video I've ever posted, then I probably would have played it again, and I would have tried doing the sound, but it just, like, started stacking up, and then that comment that I felt like I should just block and delete, it was just like, fuck you. But honestly, like, some people are great. YOLO came in and said, sadly, most of us Genshin players are rudely controlling and elitist about how, there's, how others should play the game. I've noticed. Uh, makes me super mad because when I suggest some of my friends play it, they refuse solely because they don't want to deal with the dipshits trying to backseat. That is just the community of the game. I'm sorry. And we're going to watch a video. And we're going to watch a video. We're, we're going to react in this video to another video of a much higher statured content creator completely agreeing with every single fucking word I'm saying, right? And also every word that Yolo is saying right now. Just enjoy the game however you'd like and go at your own pace. Try not to even bother responding to these sorts of messages since it only encourages them even more. My goat. My goat, Yolo. Um, wait, I just down. Anyway. Um, yeah, I don't know, man, it is what it is. Sorry, I don't like the game exactly how you want to. And then I said, yeah, that's one of the reasons I was avoiding it for a while. I'm going to at least keep playing on streams until I get the first five star from the 40 beginner pool. Thank you for the kind words. And now I just like, like my mood's just been ruined. Like, I just don't want to. I just don't care for it now. Um, <clears throat> and then he comes in. You would also suck each other off here. I said things that any normal player would pay attention to. Oh, so we're weird. He's normal. Um, yeah, he's he's completely normal going into just videos that he simply didn't really like the style of, and just talking shit for no reason. Yeah, that, I'm sure that's really normal behavior for someone who has never seen grass in their entire lives. Probably has never seen a real woman, just pixels. Um, that, I mean, that is probably his version of normal. I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna uh, download. Uh, 
the fuck? I'm just gonna dislike that. Uh, I was trying to think of the word downvote for some reason. I kept stuttering. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna dislike that uh, because, like, I just didn't like that. You know, I just didn't like reading that. You know, I just have to let them know. I just have to let them know. Uh, downvote. Uh, also, just as if I would respect the skippers. Okay. Yeah, I didn't ask for your respect. I don't care. Uh, I'm the variance. Not only that, dude clearly hates Genshin the first minute. Like, dude, think about who your audience is when you're streaming this game. My audience is, well, I'm not a big streamer, right? So my audience is whoever the one to like five, if I'm on top of the world, five people might tune in. And that if I had five live viewers all chatting at the same time, that'd be a fucking record for me on YouTube, by the way, because I don't stream a lot. And usually people don't come around that often. I have like three people tops in my chat. I had two for this stream, right? So that's my fucking audience. That's my audience. In fact, my audience is Honkai Star Rail players. And I would say the majority of Honkai Star Rail players, at least the uh, vocal ma majority of them, uh, have heavily said that like, okay, so obviously the uh, Hoyaverse cares about Honkai Star Rail. They don't give a fuck about Genshin. They don't. They don't. Um, that's just what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. All right. So yeah. Think about who the audience is you're streaming to this game. The people who have already subscribed to me that have shown that they actually care enough to lend us up. That's my audience. I don't care about any other audience. Okay? I care about the people who care about me. Nobody is saying you have to like the game, but why bother streaming if you're just going to whine in front of the camera about the game you were playing before you even tried it? Now, here's the thing. I honestly thought that, like, that portion, like, I, I just had to, you know, daddy up and tell him who my audience is. I don't know who he thinks my audience is, but I just let him know. I'm not letting you all know here. Um, yes. Yeah, I, I take full responsibility for that in my next in my comment to this. I do I do clearly dislike Genshin from the first minute. Everything I have ever heard about this game, uh, from a lot of people who have sunk tons and tons and tons of hours in the game because they are Honkai Star Rail players now who are veteran Genshin players and you can see it Genshin still only has Spiral Abyss guys I haven't made a video on this yet but Honkai Star Rail is getting another another end game mode and they're getting another addition to simulated universe which is like a, a, a kind of like constant I wouldn't say end game end game until you get to like the high portions of like Swarm Disaster and Golden Gears but like it's it's a it's a game mode that is permanent and they're always developing more for it and they're always optimizing it i don't want to run down this uh you know i, I don't want to turn this in video into like a uh a hunkai star rail is the goat game but honestly like in comparison to genshin impact it absolutely is right absolutely is just because i haven't played the game myself doesn't mean i know simple facts right simple legitimate facts hunkai star rail has end game. They have a lot of end game. They have multiple options and they're only adding more options and optimizations. I know, even though I haven't played Genshin Impact, before I even played the first minute of Genshin Impact, the Genshin Impact doesn't give a fuck about adding end game. They don't. They they're not going to do it. Genshin Impact will always be the Goo Goo Gaga baby a Hoyoverse game. And Honkai Star Rail will be for the players who like a lot of strategy, a lot of end game, a lot of like higher difficulty. If you're like that, it is just facts. I'm sorry. It's literally just facts. Um, so yeah. Uh, so let me just read this comment straight up. Uh, honestly, I agree. Just about every CC I've watched has negative outlook on the game after playing it for years. Yep. And I trust people who are more informed than me. Imagine that. Sorry. So I, I played not one minute of the game. So instead of forming my own opinion before I even played one minute of the game, um, well, yeah, and for, instead of just making an opinion come out of nowhere because like maybe a Genshin Impact has some like cool looking characters, I, I didn't just like pop an opinion right out of nowhere and then just have that opinion. No, I learned from informed opinions and I parroted their opinions because their opinions are well-informed. They're much more well-informed than me, especially before I've even started the game. So, 
obviously. Um, that's how you should go about things. If someone says, all right, I'm going to light you on fire and it's going to hurt. The reason I know that is because uh, fire is really fucking hot and I've been burnt by fire before. So like, and it hurt. Uh, and then me, and let's just say I've never been burnt by fire before. I'm like, huh? Well, I could take your informed opinion that has experience involved. You know, a lot of experience, you know, you have experience being set on fire. Apparently, uh, is what it is. You know, uh, this analogy is completely off the rails, but Hey, what it is, uh, is what it is. I mean, um, but you know what, instead of listening to your informed opinion, I think I'm just going to create my own. I think fire's cold. I'm going to say it guys. I have a hot take. I haven't been burned by fire before. So I'm just going to think that it's cold. Yeah. 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 And then I light myself on fire and then I'm like, fuck, this is hot. They were right. And that's exactly what I did with Genshin. Uh, anyway, <laughs> is what it is. Uh, yeah. So of course, you know, these CCs ha I watch have a negative outlook on the game. I've, they've been playing it for years. Uh, so I projected those feelings as well. But me, but me even playing it in the first place is me trying to give it a shot myself. Yeah. So if someone says lighting yourself on fire hurts and you do it anyway, you kind of be considered an idiot. So like, I, honestly, I'm kind of an idiot for even trying to play Genshin Impact, really. Uh, I suppose I did not convey those feelings well. I did do a lot of complaining. I take full responsibility for the fact that I came in with a negative mindset. Uh, and then I say, however, that doesn't make my feelings completely invalid. If I was having a great times, my opinions and demeanor would immediately change to being positive. Imagine that. That is true. Guys, guys, imagine this. If I'm not having fun, I, I, which I wasn't, the content will not be good, which goes back to that comment that I deleted, maybe the worst streamer I've ever seen. Uh, yeah, the content's not good. The, if I was playing Honkai Star Rail, if I was playing AFK Journey, if I was playing Wuthering Waves like the day it comes out, if I was playing uh, Lethal Company, you can you can even check my Lethal Company videos. I'm going in. I'm having a I'm having fun. It's a positive experience. I'm having a good time. I'm smiling. The stream is much more is it has a better energy about it. It's much more energy. Like it's fun. Right, we're having a good time, and the people who have watched my Lethal Company uh, streams, especially live, had a good time, right? And and so did I. That's the difference. I was playing a game that I was already really hesitant to try because I've heard so many bad things about it, and then I try it, and then honestly, if I'm being honest, I was just fucking bored the whole time. I was just bored, and sitting there. Watching dialogue appear on my screen and watching two characters talk for like an hour. I'm sorry. That would not have made me have a better time. That would not have made me. Oh my God. I'm suddenly less bored. Oh, I went from like at least skipping the dialogue so I can run around and do shit. I went from doing that at least, which was like the only things that I was like, that, that was the only reason I got an hour and 50 minutes in. No, I should have just sat there for an hour and watched like characters dialogue back and forth. I'm sure, I'm sure I would have been less bored if I did that. I'm sure I would, the content would have been so much better if I did that. No, I played the game. I was bored out of my mind. I, I wrote some notes. I was thinking about this at work earlier because I was thinking about making this video. I was bored out of my mind. The characters didn't feel that fun. The world exploring felt more like a chore rather than something that really drew me in. And then babies cried in my fucking comments. So I did not have fun at all. And therefore the content quality suffered. The content quality definitely suffered. I wasn't having fun. Okay. It is what it is. Right. And before you go, oh, of course the world exploring felt like a chore rather than something that you re that really drew you in. Which is what I just said. Uh, of course. I mean, obviously that's going to be the case when you don't know the lore, you don't know what world you're in. You don't even care. You don't care about the characters in it that much. Like, yeah, yeah, my bad, my bad. I didn't, I didn't care about it. It wasn't fun. But you know what the thing is? I play Honkai Star Rail, a game in the same genre 
made by the same company. I've already said this. And I had a lot of fucking fun. I've had a lot of fun playing that game since it came out. I've been playing it and making videos on it on a YouTube channel that honestly, if you look at it stats wise, right, doesn't really look like it's fucking going anywhere. I'm doing this for fun. I'm not doing this for money. I'm not doing this for fame. I'm not doing this for shit. I'm having so much fun playing a game that I will post. I'm having so much fun with, with Honkai Star Rail. That I will post 286 videos. I would say at, I would say probably about a little over 200 of those 286 videos, which is definitely like by far most of those 286 videos are about Honkai Star Rail content. I literally have Honkai Star Rail written in my banner. I have welcome to my channel. I make Honkai Star Rail videos. I fucking love the game. And you know what? It's a story-based game. Same company, same genre. It's the same shit. So tell me why, why is it that I like Honkai Star Rail so much more than Genshin Impact? Maybe it's just because it actually interested me. And listen, people can enjoy Genshin Impact. I'm not saying that they can't. I just don't. My content suffered because of it. I don't want to play the game. And the fuel on the fucking fire, which because I was going to give it even more time to maybe redeem itself in my eyes and hook me. I was going to give it more time for it to dig its claws into me. Right? I was going to do that. I was very open to doing that. I was going to stream it more. And then babies cried in my comments. And it's like, who am I even doing this for, bro? I'm not having fun, and I'm kind of getting shit on. Just for simple decisions that I made about a game during a random live stream that I did on, like, a Thursday night. I just got home. I was like, got home from work on a Wednesday night, and I said, yeah, I'm a stream. I'm going to stream some Genshin Impact. That, maybe that'll be fun. I got in. I just didn't have a lot of fun. And then, like, yeah, I got shit on for it. So, like, I don't care. Okay, I'm not going to play. I'm not going to play anymore. Let's watch this video. This is a video six hours ago by Tectone, who is a veteran, a goat in the gotcha space. Right? This guy is a freak. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's, yeah, let's watch this Tectone video. He makes my points crystal clear. He makes my point. I've already, I've got to be honest, I've already watched this video. I already watched like three minutes in. I haven't watched the whole video, but I've already watched three minutes into this video. Um, and I already know that he starts giving my feedback that I would have for the game crystal clear and why I dislike playing the game. Already, so early into playing it, why I dislike it already. Um, and he makes my points so much more crystal clear than I could. Um, I do a lot of yapping. Hopefully, you know, he'll help me get on track here. And he's an absolute goat and veteran of the gotcha content creator space. Right? So, let's do it. Just got done reading all my YouTube comments for my uh, 4.2 story quest reaction. Holy shit. Oh. Oh, he oh, he got done reading comments from a live stream that he did about Genshin Impact. I'm sure this will be good. And uh, I just got finished doing about... 60% of the Arlequino quest, which was so bad I wanted to shoot myself. Uh, imagine how fun <laughs> it is to have an Arlequino quest where you don't get to talk to Arlequino. You're stuck talking to children the entire time, and the entire quest is spoiled for you by a trailer they put out weeks prior. Very fun. So here's something great, and then I want all of you Genshin Impact players to understand this. Making content for your game is absolutely miserable, and there's a reason why your game is bad, okay? <laughs> Genuinely. <laughs> Genuinely. Real. There is a reason. Real. There is a reason why myself, a guy who doesn't even like your game, a guy who doesn't even like your game, has more viewers than the people who love your game. And that's because you are a miserable community to make content for. Genuinely. If I don't play the game the way Genuinely. you don't want me to play it, you bitch. If I do a story quest. True! What you, hey, hey, yo, Tecton, what'd you just say? You don't want me to play. 
Oh, sorry. Hey, Taito, what did you just say? Because you are a miserable community to make content for. On God? Genuinely. If I don't play the game the way that you don't want me to play it, mm. you bitch. Oh. Yeah, that seems like my problem, huh? Yo, Taito, you ever try playing with the music off? They love that. They love that. If I do a story quest and I don't have it underneath 100% reading comprehension, you bitch. It's oh, I mean, I'm a story skipper. You should try it. Honestly, if you just skip the story, they love that. If I miss a dialogue option. Oh, here we go. Bitch. Yeah. If I don't pay <laughs> If I miss a dialogue option, you bitch. Attention, you bitch. Yeah. Can I explain to you why Genshin Impact trains its players? Yeah, so he just... So, we don't know each other, bro. What, me and Tecton, we don't know each other. I, I, I did a stream a week ago, and he is he literally just listed three things, or four, or like like five different things that literally happened in my comment section. As a 181 subscriber, Andy, I haven't made it. They will come out of the woodwork to cry. This is a, this is my first first-hand experience with the Genshin community and it is exactly exactly the way that he describes it here and this is why I should have just like like this like it really does like upset me in a way like I, this is why I should have just fucking listened to Tectone to to Mtash to all these content creators who say yeah Genshin's not it bro Genshin, the community is not it. Genshin would almost, Genshin has a chance, a slight chance that it would almost be it if it wasn't for the community. And yeah, I mean, like, I didn't pay this guy to make this video. I saw it and I was like, oh my God. It's, it's so real. It's so, he's having the exact same problem that I did. And he is 798,000 something, something, and something more fucking subscribers than me. And we share the same exact problem just because we played that fucking game. Not pay attention. Just because we did a live stream in that one fucking game. I'm going to explain it like this. The reason why people don't pay attention to your fucking game is because it teaches the players to not pay attention. Let me explain. The reason why Genshin Impact teaches its players to not pay attention to the story is very simple. Let me explain. So the reason why when you're reading the quest and you're doing the quest, it actually teaches you to not pay attention. Let me explain. So the reason why when I'm doing the quest and I have to reread it because I wasn't paying attention, is because it teaches you to not pay attention. Let me explain. Paimon! So what he's saying is, is that you're not paying attention because <laughs> the game teaches you not to pay attention. Let me explain. So when it double speaks, it's saying the same thing twice. Let me explain. And that is an example of Genshin Impact writing. It says one <laughs> thing. It repeats That's the crazy. That's crazy. The thing it just said again. Then Paimon repeats what you just said. And then she repeats what you just said. And then mm -hmm. she repeats what you just said again. Yeah. And so when 10% of your dialogue is actually important and 90% fucking isn't. And when you get used to the, uh, I probably don't got to pay much attention anyways. They're just going to say it again a thousand fucking times. Well, then bada bing, bada boom, there you go. Look at how many Genshin Impact dialogue options there are that say the exact same thing one million fucking times. I'm human, and I can only pay attention to shit dialogue for so much. Genshin Impact is not a game with good pacing. It's almost like a... Oh, really? Man, that's, uh, that is so correct. Like, why was I skipping the story, guys? Is it maybe because I'm naturally a story skipper? But also supported by the fact that it's just saying useless fucking garbage anyway? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I mean, I'm always a story skipper, but like, I'm a, I'm a story skipper, story skipper. Let me explain. 
I'm a story skipper. If uh, if it's all just fucking garbage anyway. A high skill cap game to pay attention to because the writing is so fucking bad that it feels like a nail is being driven through my fucking skull each time I have to read one of these yeah. dialogues. And that's why all the people who enjoy the game so much skip all the fucking dialogue and these Oh, on God? They skip it too? Uh, I wouldn't know. Maybe that's why that person came to me and was like, I thought you'd be different! I thought you would listen! I thought you would care! No one else cares! No one else listens! <laughs> Okay, turn on the music. I want to hear a soft violin in the background. Fuck. <laughs> Four and story explainers are held in such high regard because it's actually high skill cap to pay attention to this dog shit writing. It's terrible. And then you say, yeah, well, you don't have these complaints in Hawkeye Star Rail. Yeah, that's because it's written good. In <laughs> real, real. The amount of times that me, a natural story skipper, has been like forcefully tugged in by my cock and balls to watch um to, to like actually pay attention to Honkai Star Rail because it just hooks you so fucking good sometimes like it's, it's insane what other game do you actually have to try to listen to get this shit through your skull. When was the last time, genuinely, when was the last time you actually saw someone play this fucking game and pay 100% attention to it and never get confused? It's fucking terrible. And the worst thing is, I'm trying to give this game another shot. But in like one, two streams, I remember why I fucking hate this game. And I fucking hate the community for this dog shit game so much. It's actually palpable. What a dog shit excuse for writing. What dog shit excuse for pacing. I wanted to go in and see six and Arlecchino. And the writing was so fucking bad, I just logged off the game. It literally <laughs> lost them money by releasing that Arlecchino story quest. <laughs> I tried to give the game a chance, first time ever. I got an hour and 45 minutes in, and I was like, eh, this fucking sucks, bro. Like, it does suck. Like, but honestly, like, even the gameplay, like, it's just too, it's just too much to want to get into. Like, it just didn't captivate me at all. Nothing about the story, even the unskippable parts captivated me and pulled me in and made me think, I better not skip the next dialogue because it might actually be something really fucking good. Just like it is in HSR. It might be really fucking good. And it shows me all the time, hey, maybe we don't skip this part of the story. We're, we're getting good. Didn't do that once. Fucking like, two hours. Got, like, think about it. Two hours isn't a long time, but it's a long time. When you waste two full hours of your life, Grinding your cock and balls against the the sand like the sandpaper, that's not fun. That's not fun. All right, that's a waste of time. It's not a lot of time, but it's a waste of time. Releases. I don't want to waste more time. To their whole Arlecchino update for the Arlecchino story quest a week before it comes out. What the fuck else am I supposed to do in four point six? That is actually mental. I didn't even know that. No Archon quest since 4.2? Good God. Like, and the fact that people get so upset at this because I didn't play the game that the way that you played it. Because I didn't enjoy the game as much as you played it. Yeah. Congrats, man. Go ahead and continue being the literal worst community for any game ever. Yeah, peace. Peace. I'm leaving. I, hey, I know I was only an hour and 45 minutes in the door of the Genshin community, but I'm going to take myself permanently out the door, okay? So, Genuinely, genuinely, <clears throat> what a bunch of stuck-up, pretentious little fucking retards this community has. Continue enjoying sucking each other's dicks on Twitter. Real! The guy literally said that, that me and the other person were sucking each other off. 
No, guys. No. You, you, you comment, uh, no music. Five other comments, uh, no music. Like, come on, bro. Like, are you actually circle jerking? And talking about how y'all get PayPal? Who gives a fuck? Who get? Uh, man, we need some soft violin in the background. The game is bad without some soft violin in the background. You fucking idiot. Turn on the music, you piece of shit. It's like, man. If soft violin is the difference between an incredible game and the worst game of all time and an experience I don't even want to have ever again, then, like, it's still just not worth ever having ever again. Great you are with your wholesome content creators that have all gone away due to mask-off moments and you guys realizing that these people you praise are just as big of fake shitbags as you are. Genuinely. And I mean that. And I mean that. No one wants to cover your game. No one wants to play your game that isn't financially advised. Sorry to tell you. Sorry that you don't get that people are being paid to play this game when they have Genshin Impact partners put in their fucking titles. Yes, all of, just wait. All of these content creators that you like, the ones that you think are good, yeah, they're definitely not going to go play Wuthering Waves. Yeah, there's no way. I'm sure they won't. <clears throat> May 22nd, they're surely not going to go play Wuthering Waves. And here's the best thing. Here's the best thing, and here's what I can't wait for. When they go to play Wuthering Waves, and it doesn't pop off, and then all of them come back to Genshin to continue playing a game they fucking hate. They fucking hate, and they hate making videos to you douchebags, too. Straight up, and I want to make this very clear. This isn't to everybody who plays Genshin Impact. Real. I know the exact people who I'm making this video to. Thank you. Thank you. YOLO Gotcha Gamer. You're my goat. Um, whoever it was that was just trying to give some like nice constructive criticism who wasn't being a dick. Everyone in this comment section who isn't being a dick. This is not to you. This video is not to you. I'm sorry if you made it 45, 42 minutes into this video and thought it was about you. It's not you. I promise. Up, then they all come back to Genshin Impact and they continue slopping down this pile of pig shit, the game. Garbage shit retard content, the game. The, the game. Dog. Combat sucks. Real. Story fucking sucks. Real. Operation tedious as shit. Well, I don't want to know. Four, you know what the worst thing was? 4.2. Yeah, that's, I literally said, like, in my opinion, the world exploration just wasn't even fun. Like, for, like it, it, just, it was just boring. I don't know. It's just a slugfest. I've played so many open world games. I prefer open world games. I played New World, which was literally called Walking Simulator the Game. And I fucking adore the world exploration in that game. Because everything looks so badass. You can go to everything. There's no, like, fake structures in the, in the far distance that you can never go to. Um, there's no loading screens between areas of the game. Like, besides, like, the dungeons, of course. Uh, there's, like, everything is so open. Like, you, I don't know, man. You can interact with every single, like, node in the world. Like, every tree you can chop down. Or almost every single tree in the game you can chop down. Everything is interactive. But, like, it, it's a great world. Genshin Impact, things are just, like, spread out. And then you get to it. You, you climb up. You climb up this, like big hill and like you fight three monsters and you open a chest and it gives you two primo gems holy fuck man i'm losing my mind i'm ripping my hair out awful with some of the best story i've ever done in genshin impact and still 45 percent of that quest sucked ass but it had good moments i i still don't know how people defend this shit i don't I don't know how people don't talk about this shit. I don't. And then you got to catch them on the live stream at fucking 4 a.m. Actually speaking their real mind. It, it, it is insane. It is genuinely insane how people defend this shit. The, the amount of disappointment I feel for this game and its community. And more specifically, the, the vocal minority that are so fucking miserable. That they go and they bitch and moan on every single post with baseless accusations. It is wild. Fuck 4.6. I'm good. 
It's a fucking trash update. And it pisses me the fuck off because I wanted to see 6R Lucino. I genuinely did. Genuinely, I did. But I just, I, I can't deal with the Genshin retards again. Yeah. I just can't. Is what it is. The worst thing is, I don't think these people realize how much benefit I could bring to their game. Because I can. I'm the only gacha content creator that has any reach outside of the gacha space. The only one. And they're just so fucking defensive. They are so fucking pretentious. Mm -hmm. It is miserable. Yeah. How in over three years has this community not gotten better? How, for over three years, do these dumb fucks still fall for these over-positive, fake fucking streamers' lies? I don't get it. I genuinely do not get it. Kectone is mad he's on Hoyo's blacklist and not getting sponsored. Okay, so let's talk about this. So what you're saying is, we're going to read this whole guy's mouth. <laughs> this is the part where he gets one guy on stream. <laughs> And it's like, no, like, this should happen. This should happen. Like, if someone came into my live stream and basically started doing the shit that I, like, uh, blocked that other guy for, I'm totally bringing him up. Like, if I have a big following, I'm totally bringing him up. And we're doing this right here, right now. We're doing it. We're going in. Message. So what you're saying is that the game tells you the same info four times in a row, and you still don't understand it, or you can't pay attention to it with your ADD. If you are talking to someone and they continue to circle talk over and over and over and over again, eventually you are going to start learning to ignore them because they have trained you to not pay attention because it is no longer worth to pay attention. Projecting so hard. Please explain how I'm projecting. He keeps coming back to gen shit for the money. No. And you know what? Let's just go ahead and pull this up. So we want to make... He's about to do a Giga Chad move. ...back to Genshin for the money. Implying that I'm... <laughs> Holy a fuck the chat. The okay, let's pull it up. So this month I've made $30,000 oh alone on Twitch. If you notice this green <clears throat> arrow, that means money is up. Which means I'm making more money now than I have been. Hell yeah. So money up. I don't need fucking money from Twitch. We're going to go to YouTube. We have made $20,000 from YouTube, which means I am making the same money as I always do, and the channel views are as consistent as they always are. So in total, we've made over $53,000 this month just from YouTube and Twitch. Full disclosure, I have made another $200,000 from sponsorships because I have done a fuck ton of sponsorships. In My go. I don't know. I have my own ad company. In case you don't know, I do know. Audioverse is one of the least paying sponsorships that you can ever do. I don't care, man. I'm 181 subscribers. I may never make it. I don't give a fuck. I'm just, I'm just gonna speak my shit. I'm gonna speak the way that I feel. Right? I'm gonna, I'm going to give my honest opinion on the shit that I'm playing. I, like, okay, so. Yeah, they might give not a big sponsorship uh, compared to sp other sponsorships that they give, but this person in the chat just said 20k. I don't know if that's true, I don't know if it's more or less, but 20k would change my life. 20k would, would honestly, one injection of 20k would completely, completely change the trajectory of my life drastically. That is a life-changing amount of money. Even less than half that, it's still a life-changing amount of money. Right? And I don't care. I'm still gonna talk shit. If I really dislike Genshin Impact, I'm just gonna tell it. I'm going to say it. I don't really care that much if, if, they bla if Hoyoverse, if I ever grow and blow up, or this video, maybe this video blows up or something, and Hoyover see this, and they're like, yeah, I know he's small, but if he ever gets big, he still ain't getting a sponsorship. Blacklist him early. Fuck him. I don't care. I don't care. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna speak my mind. Uh, that, I mean, the, the content creators who inspired me are the reason I feel this way, right? Uh, Tectone, Pokey, uh, Brax, Gotcha, mostly like Gotcha Smack, Tectone, Mtash, the most outspoken, the one who literally are black, 
the ones who literally are blacklisted, right? I'm going to talk my shit. Vulcan, he's a goat. He's, un he's insane. I love that guy. His content's crazy, right? Content's good. Asmongold, right? I don't care. I don't care. Much, big, much larger than me. In a, in a financially good enough position where it doesn't really matter if they're blacklisted. I don't care. I'm, I'm still like, you can blacklist me if you want. I don't like your game. I'm going to talk about it. I love Honkai Star Rail. I love Honkai Star Rail, though. And I will continue loving it. And it's only getting better. Hey, it's only getting better. But yeah. I started yapping there. Sorry. So, no. You don't. And if you want it, if you want... You can ask your other content creators because your other content creators, the ones that you love so much, come to me and they ask, why the fuck does Hoyoverse pay me dog shit for doing their sponsorships? So no, actually coming to Genshin is not for money whatsoever. I do it because at one point I fucking loved this game and I try very hard and I hope very hard that they fix this fucking game because... Yeah. This is literally, like, how I feel about uh, New World. Like, it, like, it was never really, like, extremely good. Like, Genshin Impact's always been the same game, right? Genshin Impact has failed to innovate, and New World has failed to fix its dog shit systems that it released with. And so, me and Tecton are kind of in the same position with these two games, where we fucking love these games. I sunk, like... 1.5k hours in like three months or like two months into this new world into the into new world it is crazy i put so much time into that game and i love it with all my soul that's why i still get excited for updates that's why you know things like that and i will definitely criticize it i loved this fucking game we all loved this fucking game but it sucks fucking ass it literally sucks so much ass it's ridiculous now let me talk else you want it to be better out of passion the about blacklist. the game about Why caring about I, the game i have said if i've said this once i've said it a pause this guy's opinions are dog shit he has roblox installed a thousand times do you want to know why i was attempting to get a contract for the preferred creator server because i was going to hire three lawyers i have a team of lawyers in case you don't know to read that contract in order to make sure that my friends who have signed the contract have not fucked themselves over long term with any agreements. The preferred creator server assist guide makers. I do not make guides. I do not need to be a part of that server. I don't I make don't guides. Care whatsoever. True. Here's what I want for home. True and real. Me neither. I don't want it's not that I care about being blacklisted. It's that I care when they're actively trying to harm the content that I am attempting to make. In case you don't know, I run this thing called the Gotcha Podcast. And this is the part where I'm really bitter. Because I'm friends with a lot of the voice actors from the fucking game. But when I go to make a voice actor podcast and they all agree, and it's just as we're about to do it, they all ghost me at the same time because Holyoverse said they cannot interact with me. That's what pisses me off. I have no interest in working with Holyoverse. And I just want to not have to work against this company to make content for their game that nobody else is fucking making. It's irritating. It's petty. It's small. But the good news is, the good news is, I'll just make that content for Wuthering Waves. Real. Real. And that's all I'll do. I'll be playing Wuthering Waves when it comes out, 100%. I know I'm not pausing a lot. It's kind of just like, I, I, I talk a shitload. For like 40 minutes before I even started this reaction. Well, for like 30 minutes before I even started like doing this reaction. So I'm not doing a lot of talking right now. I already did a lot of yapping before. And now Tectona is basically just kind of agreeing with everything that I'm saying. Bring up some new things. You know, I pause when there's something else to talk about. But I completely agree with all the shit that he's saying. Everything that he's saying is making complete and utter sense. I don't know how somebody could ever take what he's saying right now and be like, yeah, I mean, that still made no sense to me, man. I just don't get it. It's like, no, everything he's saying is completely fucking valid right now. And it doesn't fucking matter. I'll just make that content for Azure Familia. It doesn't fucking matter. Or even better, I just won't make the, I just won't make the content at all. 
And do you want to know why? Because I don't need to make that content. And let me show you even more so why I don't need to make that content. We're going to go and pull it up. Everybody I talked to the VAs of Honkai Star Rail about an important issue. I did this to make sure that the HSR voice actors could properly voice their concerns. I got 147,000 views and I got 684 bucks. Guess what, dickhead? Everybody, welcome to the... Guess what? It wasn't even the best gotcha podcast that I ever did. I got more views on almost every other episode of the gotcha podcast. That's true. I don't even want... By the way, if you don't watch the gotcha cast, if you do not watch Tectone's gotcha cast, you're making a mistake. It's really fucking good. It's about upcoming games, current games, updates to games, uh, talks to voice actors. You know, we obviously saw that. Um, literally the example he's using. A lot of shit they go over, and he talks to some really, really awesome personalities that are also in the space. He brings up small content creators. I really want to fucking go on this podcast. The problem is, I DM'd him. He hasn't responded. Um, I did a lot of yapping in that DM. I kind of regret it. I want to, like, take it back and re remake it, but, uh, but I can't do that. Um, but anyway, um, all that to say, all that to say, um, yeah, besides, anytime that he's doing the podcast, I'm always fucking working. Because I got a full-time job, baby. That's right, I'm on, the, I'm on the grind set. Please get me off. Please get me out. I want to do it for the view. Please get me out of the grind set, bro. I mean, I want to be on the grind set, but I want to be on the grind set about something I care about, bro. Or for the money. Something fulfilling in life. I do it because I want to help support the fucking game. So, I have completely dismantled every single point that you've made i am doing this out of genuine love and care for the fucking community but the problem is the outspoken part of the community is such pretentious loud douchebags it drives me nuts you're an mtash content on gen shit is all about cr salty crying since the second month of the game you want to know why because it's been all downhill ever since Used to think you had integrity, unlike M-Dash, but you still keep coming back to Genshin for the views increase. It brings a new version. You know what's crazy? Your mom keeps on coming back to my dick to suck that shit because she's praying to God to have another child because you, yourself, or only child's a fucking failure. Your mother screams for Real. me to impregnate her every fucking night. Every fucking night. She screams for my cum as I'm fucking her in her ass because she says, oh, God. Please let me have another kid. That way I at least... <laughs> I like how he's talking about impregnating her. But he said she comes over to suck my dick. And now he's on fucking her ass. Like, it's the, those are the two places she can't get pregnant from, bro. But anyway, yeah. Uh, by the way, this is me to Al Aloe, uh 3476 by the way. This is, me, this is me to their mom. Child, that's not a failure. But all he does is just white knight Genshin Impact. Oh God, Tecton, please come in me so I can have a new baby. God, he's such a fucking loser. And you hear that shit every night as you cry and hug your Paimon body pillow. People Real. are such fucking losers, it's insane. Don't need the money. Don't need the views. Don't need the Wild. <laughs> Genuinely, I'm trying to help this Hooked. game get better. But doing this shit is so- Protected honestly has like a top one chat. He has a top one chat. It's the best chat on Twitch. I don't care. This is the best, this is the best chat anywhere. Fucking miserable. Because I had to deal with fucking dipshits like whatever the fuck that dumb fuck's name was. It is insane how much this game pisses me off. Because like a, like a dis- I'd say second best chat has got to be Asmongold's. I mean, I'd say Asmongold's is like a mix between like the stupidest and the smartest chat. Is like the, the the dumbest chat because like um, like they're all just like half of his viewers are are liches are are uh, are roaches. I mean, that have like never succeeded in anything in life, and then the other half of them are like 40 year olds, the full time office job in a cubicle with a bald spot on the back of their head, or maybe they're just all bald. Fuck it. Uh, and, and like, you know, and, and they got like, they got, they got like kids at home and they're working their boring ass office job. And, and during like their lunch break at work, they're like, I wonder if Asmongold's streaming. Oh, look, he's streaming. Oh my God. He's reacting to how dog shit 
American drive throughs are. That's crazy. I, I, I'm going to watch him react to that. He's so based. He's so funny. And you know what's right? You know, you know, you know what? They're absolutely right. He is based and funny. I fucking love Asmongold. Hell yeah. Disappointed father. I see this shit and I'm just like, ah, oh, fuck. He had so much potential. He's like, oh, why do you go off on random chatters? Why the fuck would I not? Real! I so, uh, yeah, we're cresting an hour on this video and this whole thing was because I got, I got like three guide on a, on a Genshin stream. Dick suckers there are is insane. <laughs> well, you didn't enjoy the game as much as me. Which means you enjoyed it wrong. All right, Jack. You True. did it wrong. Let Jackie, you did it wrong. I True. I did it wrong. I did it wrong. I should have listened to music. I should I should have listened to the story, man. I'm so sorry. <sighs> Honestly, me and Tectone, like, we should just quit. We should just quit. We should quit making YouTube videos. Like, we're not doing it right. We're not doing it right, guys. I post a video to hopefully send more people to go play your fucking game and you get pissed off. And you know what the best thing is? I'm mm -hmm. still going to do the Archon Quest in 4.7. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are. I'm still going to play the Archon Quest. Ah, I get fucked. You want to know Fuck why? Em. Because it drives these people fucking insane. Hell yeah. Now, I'm not going to do Arlecchino. Fuck no. Not going to do Arlecchino. That quest is ass. I'm done playing this shit to the next Archon Quest, but I hope that I ruin your day each time I play this shit. And I'm going to keep playing it. And I'm going to continue telling people how much it sucks ass. You want to know why? Because it does. Genshin Impact deserves better. But just like you, how you think you're such a good person, because your friends come to you, and they're crying, and you tell them, oh, no, 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 it's not your fault. Those kids ran too fast in the street. I mean, everybody should drunk drive once in a while while you sit and let your friend cry on your shoulder as they do something abhorrent and horrendous to the rest of the world's population. And you think you're being a good person. You think you're being a good person by being supportive. You don't realize how being supportive is one of the worst things that you can do when something has a problem. When someone's drinking alcohol every day, you don't say, oh, it's okay. You live your life. If you like it, then do it. True. There's nothing wrong with having fun. Okay, I was, okay, I, was, I gotta be honest. I was a little fucking confused with where he was going. But, I agree. I agree. He's, he's saying Genshin is in a shit game state. Completely ass. Dog shit game. We should say that. If enough people complain about it, if enough people say, hey, this has a cancer. We should remove it. You know? We should do something about it. We should actually stand up and fucking do something about it. Hoyaverse, can you please fucking do something about it? Please. Then hey, maybe something might get done. You send them to Alcoholics Anonymous to help them. Being supportive when someone has a problem is the literal worst thing you can fucking do. You're not a good person by doing that. You're horrible. Genuinely horrible. And you need to hear that when your friends come. Because this isn't about Genshin anymore. This is about who you are as a person. Oh, my God. Someone has a problem. And you support them by saying, you do whatever it is you want to do. You're fine the way you are. And you know it's not the truth. You're ruining their life. When you hear someone talk Real. about a bad thing someone did. Absolutely. fucking -lutely. And you don't get both sides before saying the other person was the problem. You are now the problem. 4.6 sucks balls. 4.6 is straight dog shit. And the end game that's coming to Genshin Impact will also suck dick. If that upsets you, complain to Hoyoverse. Don't tell me about it. I don't give a fuck. But while you sit there and you deny the fact that Genshin is in the worst state it has ever been in, and the character I've been looking forward to being released for over two years comes out with one of the most boring, uninspired character quests that Hoyoverse themselves spoiled with a fucking animation one week before it came out. Oh my no god, it's awful. If I would have known that, I wouldn't have watched that. But instead, I get Arlecchino's story quest, which is the biggest piece of dog shit I've ever seen. And these dumb fucks defend it. Actual fucking insanity. They don't want things to get better. Mm -hmm. 
it will continue to get worse. Yep. I, I literally got these ungrateful fucks a change on the weapon banner, which is still dog shit. And they still, they still don't get how much good would come to this game if they were to just be constructive. There's my quarterly Genshin bitch. Yes, the game is still fucking terrible. And that's a shame coming off of one of my favorite yeah. requests I've ever done in 4.2. <clears throat> I don't know what the fuck you guys have done for 4.3, 4.4, 4.5, 4.6. But if I were y'all, I would be pissed. But instead, <laughs> continue Real. down. Ho Bro, honestly, if we got nothing good in Honkai Star Rail for like four fucking patches in a row, I would be extremely upset. I would be like, okay, guys, honestly, I don't even want to make content on this game anymore. Like, there's nothing to talk about. I'm so uninspired. Guys, in Honkai Star Rail, there is something good around every corner. It's beautiful. I love it. I'm in love. Oyo versus Dick. I'm out. Oyo versus Dick. We're at, I'm out of Hoyo versus Dick. I'm done. I'm done with Genshin Impact, guys. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate Tecton for making this video and confirming all my biases so that I can agree with myself, as I would have done by myself anyway. But now I can agree with him agreeing with me. So yeah. Yeah. Thank you all for watching. If you agree, give this a like. If you love Honkai Star Rail, if you, if you enjoy Honkai Star Rail, it's a channel with a subscribe. If you enjoy Genshin Impact, uh, don't subscribe. Because, like, I ain't gonna fucking play that shit. You know, if, if you're here for Genshin Impact, you shouldn't be. You shouldn't be. It's not happening again, guys. Peace.